Al asks, is it possible to prevent the common cold or flu? If so, what can I do to prevent it? Yes, it is possible to prevent common colds or the flu. I personally never get a cold. I never get the flu ever, ever, ever for the very specific reason that I eat the right foods. And the right food is this, saturated animal fat. Saturated animal fat is the key. Saturated animal fat is the key to health. And health is wealth. So saturated animal fat is the key to wealth. Key to happiness. Carbohydrates are the pretend health food, but what they are is a Trojan horse that lead you directly to sickness. They are a Trojan horse for the health industry, a Trojan horse for the pharmaceutical industry. Carbohydrates are a Trojan horse for the hospital industry. It is carbohydrates that make you sick. I've said it a thousand times before. I'll keep saying it a thousand times. These carbohydrate foods, these plant foods we are eating today, do not exist in nature. They are man-made. They are genetically modified and do not provide vitamins. They do not provide health. It is meat that we are meant to eat. Our ancestors lived nearly solely on meat. That is why they were stronger and smarter than us. Yes, that's right. Our caveman ancestors were far stronger than us. They were your average caveman 20,000 years ago was faster than our fastest athletes today, stronger than our strongest athletes today and smarter than some of our great scientists today. They had bigger brains. They had better muscularity. They were faster, stronger. They were better than us in every way. What they didn't have is technology. Listen, having access to technology doesn't make you a genius. It doesn't make you smarter. It makes you complacent and quite lazy. It was the agricultural revolution that started man's degeneration, that started man's devolvement, became less physically strong. He became shorter. His brain size shrank because we started eating foods we're not meant to eat. Not to mention, we eat the same five, six, ten foods today. In the past, they would hunt a hundred different species of animals and eat all of them. And they would eat some plants here and there when they could find them, a bunch of different ones. So they had a real variety in the nutrients they got because they had a variety of the animals that they would eat. Today, we eat pigs, we eat chickens, and we eat cows. Sometimes we eat goats, sometimes lamb. That's pretty much it. We pretty much live on three or four animals, whereas in the past they would live on all kinds of different species, all kinds of different, all kinds of different animals. So the moral of the story is it is meat that helps you prevent the common cold and the common flu. And it's carbohydrates that cause those sicknesses, cause those illnesses, because those foods are not natural to us. They are man-made. If you see a wild banana in nature, it's inedible. It's completely full of seeds and it's tiny compared to the bananas you buy in the supermarket. You will never see a banana like you see in the supermarket in the wild. You'll never see a sweet potato like you see at the supermarket in the wild. You never see any of it in the wild because it doesn't exist in the wild. They're fake foods just to fill the belly. They're slave foods. They're peasant foods. It's what you feed the idiot peasants. Wheat is what you feed the peasants. Rice is what you feed the peasants. Vegetables are what you feed the peasants. Kings eat meat. Durantha asks, what are the right conditions that the body needs to heal itself and become a great man without paying large sums of money to the hospitals? Number one, eat meat. Severely limit your carbohydrate consumption. Number two, understand that hospitals don't heal you. Hospitals don't help you. If you start to go to a hospital, you're going to degenerate. Physically, you are going to degenerate. If you go to the hospital and do everything they say, you are going to get worse 100% of the time. You have to understand that hospitals are not gods. Doctors are not gods. They are drug dealers and butchers. They might cut off part of your body and say that it's healthy for you. They'll pump you full of drugs and say that it's healthy for you. It isn't. Health and wellness come from your food. Like Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. He did not say, Go to the hospital and get pumped up with drugs and let them cut off parts of your body or radiate you. If you go to the hospital, it's a guarantee you're going to get sicker and weaker. And it's a guarantee that if you eat meat, natural meat with the fat, you're going to get stronger and healthier. It is a guarantee. Drop the bass, kitty. And 
If you want to protect your online privacy and help my channel out at the same time, visit drivenanddesire.com forward slash NordVPN. It's restorative, causing a heightened energy. It's excellent for diet because it suppresses hunger. It helps your digestive tract. It's anti-diuretic. It acts against fatigue. And most importantly, it acts against altitude sickness.